Hey everybody, welcome back. I have jettisoned a bunch of work that I'm supposed to be doing today and we're working on routing the binding channels out of the uh, parlor guitar that belongs to Adam. So uh, I've already done one side of it and it went fairly well. And uh, we're going to do the other side and uh, see if we can get that done too. Man, it just smells old. You know when you work with old wood? All right, as you can see, I have, uh, I have done three of the four sides here. And so I'm gonna show you what we're doing on the last side for this binding. Uh, I'm using fish glue. Sorry, fish glue. Uh, I'm using this orange binding tape. Uh, thank you to the viewer who re wants to remain anonymous and has been kind enough to send us um, a Stumac gift card, which we use to purchase these items with. And so, uh, the biggest thing you got to do first is you got to make a crap ton of little tiny tape strips. I think it's important for me to remind you, I am not showing you the way to do this. I'm showing you how I do it. There are lots of other ways, lots of ways to skin a cat. Um, I have a small mark on this piece of binding here um, that I have lined up with a small mark that I have on the instrument. And that has allowed me to trim the ends of these, not flush, a little over flush, so that way I can kind of fine tune it. Uh, I am using, I've decided to use this, give this fish glue a shot just because it has a much longer open time than hide glue. It's still a, a protein glue, um, but hide glue is, um, it, it has some, it has some, some requirements that kind of put constraints on how slow you can, uh, how slow you can kind of go. Uh, you got to move pretty quick uh, with it. Uh, this is telling me that it's got a working time or an open time of, of up to 30 minutes, and then it's a 12-hour cure. Uh, I am certainly not um, poking along like I'm going to use the whole 30 minutes. I try to move pretty quick and get things done. Uh, I have a moist rag with me because when I get the squeeze out, I want to try to wipe some of that up. Uh, if there's a whole lot of it, if it's just a little bit, um, then I can just use this dry rag because the tape, if you've got any moisture up here, which includes the glue, the tape does not want to stick to the moisture. Uh, and uh, since that's kind of an important deal, we want to make sure that we're able to get the tape to stick to the guitar. So uh, I guess I should stop yammering about it and get this thing done, huh? I have uh, run a fine bead 
the fish glue and now I'm going to use a brush. I like how the guitar body vibrates to my sexy sexy voice. Um, and now I'm going to use a brush to get this into the crack into that little corner there and all the way up along the side. They use, it's got kind of a weird, it doesn't have that doesn't have the same smell as like hide glue. It says on the side of the bottle that, that uh, it uses some kind of phenols in it. So it does have this a pretty peculiar odor to it. Not wholly unpleasant. Um, we'll see if it uh, if it makes the big stink when it starts to go bad. The plan is to, when it's not being used, is to keep it in the refrigerator because apparently if you operate like that, the shelf life is like a long, long time. Now if this were a modern instrument, I wouldn't be doing this because I try to go like for like on my repairs. In new instruments, they're not using this stuff. They're using regular carpenter type glues as far as I can find. So let's get my mark. There's my mark. Wind up, let the taping begin. I always tape the waste first because that, at least in my opinion, is the toughest spot because it's got the most bend to it. Wants to unbend. Again, I'm trying not to lollygag too much, even though this has a much longer open time. Just now joining us on this episode for this part of the uh, for this part of the project, we uh, pre-shaped these binding pieces in the uh, side bender. This guitar has got a lot of firsts on it um, because it was the first guitar where we used the side bender just for the binding 
This is the first guitar that we used the uh, the true channel binding channel, whatever you want to call it, the fancy Stumac apparatus, that thing, um, which worked super smoothly. This is where it all starts to slow down. And where I'm very thankful for this long open time. Now if we were using hide glue, I personally would have been in panic mode alpha right there because of how long it was taking to get a little bit of final adjustment on that. But with this glue, it says we've got this nice long open time, so we will see. And while we're here, um, I guess we can start pulling the uh, this piece off that we that we did yesterday. Pull it off at a 45 degree angle. This tape has got like a really good, like a sheer strength. I mean, like I'm giving it, I, I can't pull it that way. Did that one. Um, but it's, uh, it's fairly easy to get up. And again, friend of the channel, Decided to send us a gift card to the Stumax. Not too bad. Now this is proud in this direction. It's also proud in this direction. Um, so again, uh, I've we've had a uh, a great we've had a great benefit by um, having Adam let us let us do this because he said, of course, you want to do as little damage to it as you can. Um, but if you end up having to refinish the whole thing, then refinish the whole thing. So we'll see how, how close we can get this down. I, it's in pretty rough shape from the get-go. Um, getting the back off, we didn't help things at all. Um, the damage on the front didn't help things at all. But we'll see, uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if at least we can, we can keep the front the way it is, the way it was. And then the back and the sides, um, when we cut into the, when we cut into it, this is all dyed um, or stained, whatever, whatever phrase you want to use with it. Um, because uh, I'll try to put another shot up uh, of the channel when we were looking at it. You can see that uh, underneath it's, it's a very pale, very white wood. My understanding is this might be birch. Um, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Anyways, that is uh, binding using uh, fish glue, this funky new Stumac binding tape from Intertape Polymer Group. 
American brand, that's what it says, American brand OM Interstate Polymer Group. So it would be nice if we could find, maybe there's a source for this on the interweb somewhere that we can get it cheaper. Uh, who knows? Anyways, that's what's going on. Thanks for your patience. We're uh, attempting to get guitar projects pushed along even though the shop's not done. You guys have a great weekend. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.